Hey guys, this is Ms. Jacobson. I am going to show you how to start your text structures assignment. If you look at this text structures assignment, which is going to be under the six, six weeks tab, it's going to be called text structures practice. When you do this assignment, instead of it just saying, is this compare and contrast? Is this chronological? You're going to see different text structures. There's one of each type in part A and one of each type in part B. But instead of saying, is this chronological or whatever, it's going to ask you some star formatted questions. So I'm going to go step by step with a few of these questions with you so that you understand how to answer them. Remember, as I'm highlighting, annotating, etc., you need to be highlighting and annotating. Okay. So question one says, the author most likely wrote this selection too. So we're looking at author's purpose. Before I can answer this question, I have to read the passage. So the passage says, a guitar is a sixth string instrument that has anywhere from four to 18 strings. Standard guitars have six strings. Guitars are made of wood and strings are typically made of nylon or steel. Beneath the strings is a cavity which amplifies the sound of the strings being plucked. The player moves his or her hand al along the neck, which extends from the body of the guitar to change the pitch of the sound when plucking the strings. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label what type of passage is this. I think this type of passage, I'm going to click out here and drag it. Okay, except it has changed how it does this now. Okay. I think this type of passage is probably descriptive because it's not telling me how to do something. It's not telling me this order something happened in. It's not giving me a problem I can solve, but it is all describing the car. So I'm going to write description because this is a descriptive. Maybe that's a little too big. This is description. Okay. Then I need to look at my answer choices. The author most likely, most likely wrote the selection too. A says, explain how to play musical instruments such as a guitar. Well, if I look back over it, it talks about it, how, how many strings it has. It talks about it being made out of nylon or steel. It talks about there being a cavity, but it's not telling me how to do something, except for like one sentence that says the player moves their hand along the neck, but that doesn't tell me how to do it. So I'm gonna say that's probably not my right answer because it's not telling me how to do something. Describe the construction of guitars. Okay, well, it does give me a lot of details about how guitars are made. So if I look, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Describe the construction of different guitars. Well, guitar is a stringed instrument that has four to 18 strings. They have six strings made of wood, made of nylon or steel. Beneath the strings is a cavity. Okay, so there are a lot of details that tell me about the construction of the guitars. I think that's probably my right answer, but I still have to check the rest. Demonstrate the different ways that string instruments are built. Well, if I look back at this passage, I don't see them talking about any other type of string instrument. The only one that it describes is a guitar. So if it's only guitars being described, and this one says string instruments, plural, then I'm gonna say that one's probably wrong. Okay, D, express their appreciation for the musical qualities of the guitar. It doesn't tell me anything what a, gu a guitar sounds like. How could they be expressing their appreciation if it doesn't even talk about what it sounds like? So my correct answer is going to be B. Okay. My second passage says, both seals and sea lions are sea mammals. Okay, before I even go anywhere, I'm gonna highlight that keyword. Both is a signal word. And lets me know that I'm comparing things. So both sea, seals and sea lions are sea mammals. 
Sea mammals are warm-blooded and give birth to live babies rather than lay eggs. Both. Animals are also pinnipeds, which is Latin for fin-footed. Both have flippers instead of legs and feet. Sea lions have small furry front flippers with, no, with claws on each tiny toe. Sea lions have large skin-covered flippers that have no fur or claws. Sea lions are much noisier. I'm going to highlight noisier because that's a comparing word. Something is noisy, something is noisier. Sea lions are much noisier than seals. Sea lions bark and squawk, while seals make soft grunting noises. While, that's another comparing word. So, just looking at this, I think this is probably a compare-contrast passage. Now I have to look at my different answer choices and see which answer choice makes sense for a compare-contrast passage. The author most likely wrote this selection to discuss similarities and differences between two sea mammals. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my green highlighter because similarities and differences, that's compare and contrast. Those are compare and contrast keywords. So that may be my right answer, but I still have to check my others. Warn readers not to confuse sea lions for seals. I don't see any warning going on here. Like, there's no warning. There's no, hey, watch out. Provide information about the characteristics of sea lions. Okay, you know, it does that. It gives me a lot of information about the characteristics of sea lions. But it doesn't just talk about sea lions. So it can't be the reason that he wrote this if he talked about stuff other than sea lions. Compare, and then the last one says convey. So that means explain or express. Convey the importance of sea mammals to their environment. Well, that doesn't make sense at all because it doesn't talk about why sea mammals are important. It's just comparing two different sea mammals. So for this one, my right answer has to be A. Okay, next passage. If you are in a car that gets a flat tire while driving, these simple steps will help the driver resolve the problem quickly and safely. First, ooh, okay, got a keyword. Do this one back in purple. I like purple. If you're in a car that gets a flat tire while driving, these simple steps will help the driver resolve the problem quickly and safely. First, that's an important keyword because it, it's a time order word. First, it's important to find a safe place to pull off the road. Be sure there's room to walk around the car without having to walk into traffic. Turn on the hazard lights on the car to alert other drivers and step to the back to retrieve the jack from the trunk. Position the jack beneath the car so that the metal plate is in contact with the frame of the car. So what it sounds like to me is they're saying, if this happens to you, you should do this, to, you should do this, this, and this. So let's look at my different answer choices. Well, actually, wait, no. So this is either chronological or a problem solution. Because I can kind of see both. Because on one hand, it's telling me to do this in certain steps. And then on the other hand, it's telling me, okay, here's the problem, here's how to solve it. So I'm not sure. And that's okay. That means I can put both down and look at my answer choices and see what seems the most reasonable. I think it's probably chronological just because it goes through all the steps. But it could be problem and solution. We'll see. The oh, author most likely wrote this lecture to discuss... The reasons drivers may experience a flat tire. Well, highlighting that word reasons, it doesn't talk about why you get a flat tire. It just says what to do once you have one. So it can't be A. B says describe different mechanical failures in automobiles. Well, they don't talk about mechanical failures at all. They only talk about flat tires. Persuade the reader to take steps for roadside emergencies. I mean, I guess a flat tire is a roadside emergency, but it doesn't say here's what you need to do before you get a flat tire. It doesn't talk about any other type of roadside emergency at all. I, actually, I don't even see any persuading words in here. It doesn't say you should or because this is important because. So we're not persuading. D says explain the process of replacing a flat tire. Uh, replacing a tire, I think that's got to be my right answer. Whether we have a chronological or a problem solution, 
what this passage is doing is it's explaining the process of, of replacing a tire. Okay, so that's the first three answers done for you. This is video is getting kind of long, so at this point I'm going to stop. Four, five, and uh, four and five from this uh, part A, and one through five from part two, plus these five labeling are yours to do independently. Make sure you label and underline and highlight your passages just the same way I did.